imagine yourself in a foreign country. You can't speak the language. You can't read the signs. You become lost. You become confused. You long for someone to understand you. That's something that I have to face daily. Doctors were telling my parents that going to college was out of the question. Graduating a traditional high school would be pretty much impossible. My parents were told by doctors that I'd be functionally illiterate. I had a diagnosis with a word processing disorder, word retrieval disorder, and then dyslexia. I did things very differently. So the teacher would tell everyone to go line up at the door. I'd go sit down on the carpet. My mom would come to school each day because the school told my parents that they couldn't teach me. My mind processes language very differently than a traditional learner. And with that, I'm very visual. So I can see things in my head and turn them and manipulate them. It was in the seventh grade where I had a teacher. He really provided me this understanding that words were almost like paint strokes on a like canvas to describe what I was visually seeing inside my head. Can I get something? Yeah. Okay. okay. If I asked someone like, what is this? They'd say a watch. If I asked someone, what's this? They'd say a watch. What's this? A watch. What's this? A watch. Like every way that I turn this, it's considered a watch. Well then, what letter is this? What letter is this? What letter is this? What letter is this? So we go from a B, a D, a Q, a P. But this is considered unable to do what I developmentally understood of the world. So I developmentally and naturally began to see the world that everything is three-dimensional. I, in high school, realized that college was attainable. College in Queens could really offer me the small class size. I was able to have active learning. My first impression of Gretchen is that she was quiet, but really, really zoned in on what we were doing. I and mean, she would often raise her hand and ask some really perceptive questions. In class, I'll get the information, I'll type it out, and then I take an extra step. And then I go and I teach myself the material in the way that I learn best. There's freedom in being able to study that way. She's getting what a college education is supposed to be about. Not just her certificate to go on the next thing. She's really working and learning. I think it's interesting because I'm not so much surprised. It's more of a sense of awe that Queens would recognize my hard work as a student and that they would be able to make college affordable because of that hard work. I, I did not want to be an education major. I wanted to go into art. I began tutoring. It was really in that moment where I understood education can have a big impact. It impacts the family. It impacts this individual's life on a level that I wasn't really understanding at the time. Teaching is a lot like an art form. I'm being able to create and be innovative um, in a way to provide and create these new resources that I see as gaps in our education system. After graduation, there are so many choices open to Gretchen, to her, and we're lucky to have her at Queens, and we'll be lucky to have her as, as an alum. Queens' motto is not to be served, but to serve. We actually live out our motto. So Queens has really provided me in a place and a community where we're serving one another, and we're serving one another. I'm the young woman I am today. I'm the educator that I am today. The things that I hoped and dreamed that I would have, and they've provided me that foundation.